Milne with a market update on Monday, uh, December 21st, before the market opens. So last week uh, saw new highs again being made by all the major indices, although there was a bit of a stumble on Friday. And then this morning, uh, we're going to be down pretty heavily because of the uh, in new strain of virus uh, potentially closing down Europe. <clears throat> uh, in any case, the S&P chart is still positive because oh, it just made a new high on Thursday. The, uh, the first support level on that chart is at um, 36 oh 85 or so which is like friday's low actually that low was tested a couple times last week we'll open below that today though and so the next support level which was still keeps coming back to those uh i call it pfizer monday highs around 3650 uh will be in play but the real support level that's important is 3550 and if we do break that one then uh this there's going to be a bearish uh, change to the picture um, <clears throat> put call ratios are still bullish. Uh, a lot of put buying, a lot of call buying, even on uh, Friday when the market was down. And so the 20 day, uh, or the 20 year, I'm sorry, 20 year uh, put call ratios are being uh, registered every day by the standard ratio, the total ratio, which is equity plus index options, and the CBOE equity only ratio. Uh, only the weighted ratio is not at a 20 year low, but it is also very low on its chart and still is on a buy signal. So this is an extreme overbought condition, but it's still not a sell signal until these ratios turn and begin to move higher. Uh, market breadth has been pretty positive too. Uh, the breadth oscillators remain in positive territory on buy signals right now. Uh, today there's going to be negative breadth it looks like uh, whether it lasts all day long is unclear but the oscillators are within uh, I'd say shouting distance anyways of turning over to sell signals so they're not as locked in on the buy side as they have been uh, meanwhile the cumulative breadth totals and cumulative volume breadth totals made new all-time highs again on Thursday so uh, there's no negative divergence there but the fact that they're making new highs doesn't really mean anything as far as where SPX is going from here. Um, <clears throat> volatility has uh, been pretty high. VIX has stayed high. I realized volatility had dropped, but uh, implied volatility has been staying high as people have been generally worried about either the strength of the economic recovery or you know perhaps selling after the first of the year when you know all the gains have been booked from this year. It's not clear exactly why VIX has remained so high, but VIX is up seven this morning from roughly 21 to 28. So that's a huge move. And it does put the uh, near-term futures at a discount to VIX, which is also not good. But the one thing that's still hanging in there is that the uh, front month VIX, which is now January, is uh, the futures are trading at a lower price uh, than February. So uh, one, if that were to invert this, what we call the construct of volatility derivatives would turn negative. But right now, it's still holding on to a, a positive status. Um, new highs continue to dominate new lows. And we are coming up on a seasonally, uh, typically anyway, seasonally bullish period. Uh, the Santa Claus rally is defined by Yale Hirsch as the last five trading days of this year. And the first two of the next, uh, that typically produces about a 1% gain in S&P. If it doesn't, if, if the market is down during that time, then that's a negative thing to look for. So perhaps the bears are taking advantage of a, a little chance to start the selling now uh, because that uh, positive Santa Claus rally indicator begins with Thursday's trading, December 24th. So all in all, um, the bulls are still in charge, but the bears are going to have their way today, at least on the opening. We'll see if they can uh, force some sell signals. We do not have any sell signals in place at this time. And so we're not going to uh, try to front run our own uh, systems. We will follow along and when sell signals occur, we will act on them. But for right now, we're uh, short term bullish, despite uh, what might be a decline today. So I invite you to uh, visit our website, look at our newsletters. We will be having some year-end specials coming up uh, within a day or two. And uh, that's all at optionstrategist.com. Otherwise, uh, have a great Christmas and uh, good luck trading.